Hi guys and welcome to Theme Park Coasting and today we are over here at Belmont Park San Diego to complete many attractions including the one and only Big Dipper which is actually the 10th oldest coaster in the world opening in at 1925 this iconic roller coaster is still standing to this very day. We were recently furthered from done in 1990 after a tragic fire which cost over 10 million pounds. This awesome ride is still here and today I can't tell you how excited I am to ride this attraction as well as actually many more. But with me today we have got Adam. So are you excited for today at Belmont Park? Yes, I'm really excited. As I'm sure you mentioned, we're standing strong behind me, the Big Dipper. And it looks totally amazing. Well, it's a 10th old one and it's still standing. And what other rides at the park well, which we'll hopefully try being done, but we don't know yet. The one behind me, I have no idea what it is. But we, if these may be made or may not. And I, I know there's like loads of rides, but we mainly came in for that ride. I mean. And that is thanks to you for coming today, because it's actually a surprise it trip to come over here. It is thanks to me, it's all thanks to me. So are you looking forward to it? <laughs> yes, we're really looking forward to it, Tom. And Mum, looking forward to it? I think so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So it looks fun. And it's got also the camera sales part old as well. And actually, I've recently announced the oldest theme park where we've ever done a vlog at. So it's going to be amazing. And actually, inside there as well, we're getting tickets from. There's a museum. So later on in this vlog, we're going there and seeing some awesome facts around the giant dipper. And actually, next to it is a little dipper. There you go. But let's now go into our tickets and head on to this beauty all along. How good that was. I think you just saw it by my reaction. That is intense. And for almost a hundred years old in the next six years, and hope there'll be a celebration around it for our hundredth anniversary. Wow, that was good. And a bit of history about the ride before we move on. And I hope you did enjoy having my face as well as the ride because I got my own personal and my own memories alone. I wanted to have my reactions on it, but I realized I couldn't just do my way the whole way around. So I had to show a little ride as well because I was a bit boring for you guys and I love having a mix of stuff on the channel because you can get a video off YouTube of that ride so you can never get all the reactions and that first time reaction is just one of those quality moments over here and I just can't go over it honestly for a hundred years and the ride itself it opened actually at 1925 we're actually the whole of San Diego here because all the way down the beach and everything we walked down it yesterday and saw this ride but the whole way down there it has been like, massively opened, it's been amazing. They've opened the zoo this year a couple of weeks before this attraction opened itself. So when the person up in the neighborhood was looking up in the car on the way here, but when the mayor of the town opened it, and then, well, he then had to build something to promote it, and that was the Giant Dipper. And did it promote it, and in those days, as it's only the tenth oldest, and I think the one in America, the Cyclone in New York, that was probably the only one in America. So most people who went over here, over towards Belmont Park, never ever experienced anything along those lines. And if you saw the track as well, it's just layers of wood. Like, not like Wicker Man stuff, which is a wooden coaster, but has steel to support the car. It's just wood. And, however, unfortunately, I think around 1970 or something, it had the fire, which burned down most of the coaster. So then over in 1990, they spent 10 million dollars to restore this iconic coaster and the car 
before the first ever coaster is still in the museum itself. But Adam, well, what did you think of it? Okay, I can't believe we've just done a 98 year old roller coaster. Whoa, that was good. But, like, I wouldn't say it's like experience that you come down and think, oh, this is going to be like an amazing coaster, like Wicker Man is, like, what a stunning coaster coming off it. But you, but you just got to do it to say, you have done, like, when you pick up, you'll be like 100, 100 years old. You've just got to come to say you've done it. And that was really good. It was really jolty, though. But still on the job is Kong. Well done for the next win. Uh, Kong came like 30 years ago, 20 years ago. This came like 98 years ago. And it's not as jolty as Kong. So it's very yeah, good. And of course, I just had to hold the camera on it. So it went a bit more jolty for me itself. But I just, it just felt really good, actually, to be able to do a coaster that old. And I kind of, without those sort of coasters, theme park coasting wouldn't be a thing. And we wouldn't be over here with now over 514 subscribers and doing vlogs for you guys like this. So if you are new here, head in that coaster and obviously subscribe to see more videos as we head to some of the oldest theme parks in the world, really. And just come back out and look in the back. And you can tell by the station building, it's a bit there and everything up there, that actually, that would probably be the original station building. So, Dad, you are loving it on there. And what do you know, it's really, really good to do. Lovely to do a really old coaster. Um, and on a boardwalk in America, which is great, you know, it's great for us British foreigners. Um, so it's really enjoyed it. It felt like it was about 100 years old, it's quite rickety, but that's part of the fun of it, isn't it? So really yeah. enjoyed it. And yeah, that was good. And there's a little train to pass, and that's one of the rides yeah. that you got on the ride pass. It's like six flags on top. So, yeah. Big flag, pod me to three. Oh wow, that was good. And as we just walked on the boardwalk at the moment, I do just want to mention to you guys how happy I am to create this for you. And we still have some more tickets left. As this park, you can either do tickets or a day pass. And as we're only over here for a couple of hours, we really need to complete that and try to get up there. We can do it at the start. We had to kind of, kind of shorten the day pass as the ride dance. Awesome power standard or big bags, but it's good as well. Yeah, it is just a stunning ride. And as well, if you didn't have much tickets it was, it was seven tickets each to one ride. So as overall, like if you have four people, that would like be 28 tickets. But it's not bad in truth. It's a very good ride. Like, I think we spent like 25 quid in it, but like it's worth it. It's so good. It's really yeah, and Mum, I've got to congratulate you for that. You do well. <laughs> oh my god, that's so scary. <laughs> yeah. Very rickety, but it was fun. Oh, wow. I want to get some off-bar pushing that as it goes down. You have to say that we have done a 90 year old, 98 year old poster. Wait, this one, whoa. And that is also, I think, you'll find out in the video, I think that's my 90th coaster credit. So, 90, uh, everything like that. And actually, my great granddad, who's actually still alive, remarkably, so well done, he was actually alive, for, and he's only like two years old when this opened, but unfortunately, he lives back in the UK, so he never gets experience it. So, yeah, but just all the shops down here as well, it is really amazing. So, we're gonna see you in a bit. As I look at this ride a hundred more times, for well, 98 as how many years it's been up for and running so well, I do just want to say thank you everyone and we'll see you to the next ride. I'm not actually kidding. Sitting in that seat, going up and down, controlling it is wicked. Like, I don't know if you saw Hover, some people who were just hanging it upside down. We'll try and mix it up a little bit. Adam did the controls from the start, but it was getting a bit boring, yes. so I took over. Right. And that's really got it's exciting. I think I've been on stuff, I think, 10 seconds at the time before. And you saw our reactions, it was really good. But Adam, what did you think of it? Yeah, I actually enjoyed it. I already forgot the name. It was so crazy. Oh, like you said, I controlled it first. Um, and it's just one of the rides you look at 
and you think, oh, people will be sitting there. You don't feel it when you're on it. But we we like went and we just hooked upside down for ages, ages of footage. But that was a very, very good ride. Worth the ticket. I think it was like six tickets each. So not yeah, a lot. Yeah, but the lady forgot to scan. Well, I did it and I walked back and I said, he's with me. And then she would say this twice. Yeah, so I think so we got away with it. One, one ticket. One ticket. So we made it to the wall ride around here. And wow. That's awesome. And as well, I know it, this is um, a bit weird, but I want to do one of them at Thought Park when we get back home. They look really good. Yeah, the Java Springs. Yeah, I love them. They, they look really on the points. I, I personally, like when I've been playing Pack and stuff, I personally prefer the ones that you face inwards. Obviously, I haven't been there, so I don't know. But they look really good. We probably won't do it today, so you have to do other different ones. I don't know. I said, no. we're gonna, we are going to look around at what rides we can do. Yeah. I think we've got to have two rides left in our 54 ticket thing. But yeah, I would love to do that again, but it's quite a few tickets, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a lot. It's like. Seven each, so 14 tickets. It is quite a lot, and then we won't, we won't have any left. So. Yeah, so we're gonna see what we're gonna do next. So as you just saw right there, there are quite a few people in the room, so I couldn't probably do a vlog. But that was the original car from well, the coast that we're going to do one more time when it gets dark. But before then, we're just going to show you down the boardwalk, see what some of the best places to go at actually. And that's going to do one more as well. So. Yeah, the other ride, if you let me say, is going to be, there's like a yellow one over there. It's quite weird, like I've seen them before I've seen them They like one on top, one under me, do like loads of flips there, it's quite cool. But, as well, I think we're going to get another four tickets, so four euros. So basically a euro ticket, not bad. But yeah, so we it's can a dollar a ticket actually. A, a dollar a ticket, sorry, that's fine. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so we need to get to do that one as well for you. Yeah. Yeah. And if you um, and if you people who are American out there haven't noticed this yet by an accent, we are British, we're based around Britain, so we may get our currency wrong, we may get the price wrong a little bit, and we may get the names wrong. So I just apologise for that for all of our American road trips so far and we've got anything wrong. But just around here, I actually do love the vintage side places like they have got the vintage stool, the vintage candy shop, and they have got some modern stuff as well, but Today we are trying to complete, as of the price is so expensive, things that we can't do anywhere else, such as that coaster, and I know everyone's going to treat it a normal coaster top, but no, you're wrong guys, it's not a normal coaster, it is the Big Dipper, and that is definitely not normal, definitely not normal, and all the games and stuff with balloons, it's, it's quite, you know, there's a wrist angle here or something like that, you can really see the old fashioned version of it all, and yeah, this will be good. But now we're gonna head down here a little more and look at all of that. But we're now gonna head over towards the ride which we're gonna do next. And see you there. And then we may get a dark night ride. I think it's starting to get night gone. It's only seven o'clock and this park is open till ten. So we may get a night ride on the big dipper. But let's now go on to the spinning ride which I can't really see going at the What is this? There is I think it's in the corner. Yeah, let's go. Never has met right, but you control yourself. And then they control you for the second half. And I think we actually could have stopped both us because when I controlled it the first time, I don't think the others, but the kids came off uh, halfway through when it was their turn. I don't know how, probably, I think it's like a COVID, like, going to get off. I think it's because of how intense we did it. Like, I did it, I controlled it and didn't because I, I didn't have a chance because 
We did four flips in a row. So oh, round, 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 round. And you can't control all these like ride sims, but when you put it into action, God, on. That was intense, actually, yeah. That was intense. And then we were hanging upside down loads, and it was just unbelievable, honestly. I can't get over how scary it was, but yeah. And it's dark now, so that's how we're going down to our last one of the day, which is the Giant Dipper. We're probably one of the best rides, well, has to be the best rides I've seen in the park. But wow, that's mad, isn't it? Yes, that was just bonkers. Like, basically, like, we were hanging upside down, like, basically, like, I think I can control it, I just didn't know to work because you couldn't do it before me. But, like, we did four flips in a row. Basically, I think we were on the whole circuit and flips. Like, I never get on the rest of the edge. Do it, it's quite fun. It's one of the scariest rides I've ever been on, though. But it is very, very fun. It was worth the six tickets each, but it was mega scary. And, like, as you see my footage, like, the lap bar, it was, like, it's done up, but then you, like, went up that a little bit. But that happens on usual rides anyway, so it wasn't bad, but it was a pretty good ride. There you go. The car behind me, oh, I'm looking forward to doing it tonight. My dad's in the queue and I'm like, see when comes to start the end of the body school. Oh, no, 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 Here's, uh, there he is, my head there. That's my dad looking in for us. I'm buying the tickets to reach him out too. For our last ride of the day, Giant Dipper, a dark ride, yeah. Mental. Oh, somebody's coming around as well. I just stopped it. Uh, and we going again. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. That's quite good. I think we're going again. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, um, <laughs> stop on our lift. I never use just that. Yeah. It really is. It is really shaky. I'm saying. It's good. Though. Here we go again, though. As well, if you didn't know, these lap bars, uh, if you like sitting on the cars, they control ones in front as well. Yeah. They're just yeah, connected awesome. the same. Cool. There you go, back on again. Yes! There we go! Yeah. Way again! Yeah. Way. Way to end the theme park coasting vlog on such an um, actually amazing way as doing twice on a ride. Pretty cool, isn't it, Adam? Yeah, it is quite cool doing twice on a ride. And yeah, basically, we just went round once and I was like, okay, I was quite jolty. Uh, and then, before we knew it, we were for another lap. And it was it was a very, very good ride. I was in my scariest ride today, though. I, I have no idea what the name was. But it was the one where like one side to me and one side under you and then you kept going around. I don't know what it's called though. But yeah, that was actually a very good ride. But my favourite ride, of course, has to be the Big Dipper. That was just an incredible roller coaster. Now, boys, it's weird. It's, it's still standing and it's not overly jolty. I'd say, in my opinion, I think it's more jolting at the back than the front. 
But yeah, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. yeah, and the staff are really good here as well, actually, because they're like fun. They've got all the times, and they just like kind of have a good bit of fun as well. It's one of the big theme parks around here with actually Sea World, of course, there, but you never think of Sea World animals and stuff like that, welfare. We don't really know. And I'm sure if it's dark on the camera at the moment, but it is really dark at night, and it's lovely to see a dark ride. But guys, what did you think of your day today? Or well, I say day, a couple of hours over at Belmont Park. Really enjoyed it. It was like it felt um, great thing to do, great American thing to do. Be on a boardwalk, um, going on really old roller coaster. Uh, well, great, great end to the day, I think. And mum? Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Um, and I am pleased that I did go on the Big Dipper. That's what it's called. Yeah, that's actually a hundred year old walk. That's one of the oldest things we've all done. But yeah, we're now going to go. So we're sat there over there. We're now going to go over towards. Back to our hotel, and I just want to thank you all for watching this video at the start. We met quite a few people here who asked for vloggers, and then had the kid who congratulated me about filming on that big dipper, as it is a wobbly ride. So, just understand, guys, if you do come over here, follow the instructions because it's only trying to keep you safe. But anyway, my name is Tom Derek from Theme Park Coasting, and we just went on the oldest roller coaster, well, the 10th oldest roller coaster in the world. And thank you all for watching, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.